there used to be somebody from the family of Sidna Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu had a sandal of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sallam, displayed at that time in, in, a, in, a, in a box of, of, of uh, a glass a sandal of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. so that man looked at that sandal he took his, uh, took his took whatever he was writing and he copied it on leather copied it how it this is how it looks he copied it the way it is right he copied the shape of it this is the shape that you may see in you know the shape of the prophet Islam sandal that became the symbol of islam by the way at a certain time before the crescent that the sandal was the symbol of islam right so he took it with him to andalus and it took off people start making poetry about it oh, cool. the sandal of the prophet وسلم, to the point where this man had collected had collected thousands of verses in one book about the ni'ah of the Prophet ﷺ. Published, the book is published and it's in the libraries. Fathul Muta'al fi Madhin Ni'al. The opening of the Most High in the praise of the sandals of the Prophet. ﷺ. Mind you, these are not the sandals of the Prophet. ﷺ. These are copies of the sand copy of the, the copy survived until. Until until now, the family of Sheikh bin Kiran still has in fast, and they showed it at a time. Imagine the religiosity. The Mawlid of the Prophet was celebrated first in a place called Sota. Mm. Sabta. Sota is Sabta, right? And the first Mawlid to be written is the Mawlid of if is the Mawlid of Allah Muhammad. He used to be a judge of Sabta. Even, even, um, if it comes, I'll, I'll mention it. Right? Some people say it's if, if of uh, Ibn Dihya is the first one to read it to Al-Malik Mu'adham in, in, in Syria. Right? In Irbil. In Iraq, in Irbil. But Ibn Dihya is Andalusian. Hmm. is an Andalusian. Right? So he wrote, wrote a mawlid to, and, the, and, and so. So the celebrations started really early and that's where that's when so people say oh no but it's the fatimis no no it's the it's the ibn abil uh, what's the name a family it's a, fa a whole family of ibn abil, ibn abil when it comes i will share it inshallah <laughs> so all of these are all of these see they are, are manifestations of manifestations of her uh, of love of the prophet Kings were sent will, will write on their own hands masahifs, beautiful, ornated with gold and so on. They would send them, and people from all over, from all over the spectrum of society. As I said, people who don't have, who don't have eloquence would write to the Prophet Wasallam. Would send, would commission somebody to to, to write to them, to entreat the Prophet Wasallam. So it's centralizing the the life. The, the, the Islam. Open its secrets to these people because of their love to the Prophet. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.